Hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to solve the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Before we start, the move notation. Now, the side facing you will be called the front side, which will be represented by an S. This side, which is the one facing away from you, will be called the B, the back side, which will be denoted by a B. Now, this will be the upside, denoted by a U, the downside, denoted by a D, the left side, denoted by an L, and the right side, denoted by an R. Now, if you see one of those letters, you move that side clockwise. F would be this, B would be this, U would be this, R would be this, L would be this, and D would be this. Now, if you see an I behind the letter, you move that side anti-clockwise. For example, F I would be this, or U I would be this, R I would be this, etc., etc. Now, if you see a two in front of it, it means you move that side to 180 degrees. For example, two F would be this, or two U would be this. You will use this in what's called an algorithm, which is a move, and if you do it enough times, the cube will come back to its original position, and you can solve the cube without undoing what's already done. Now we are ready to scramble the cube. Okay, now you can start solving it. But first of all, you'll need to know that wherever the center is of one color, the whole side will be of that color. So if this is the yellow center, this whole side will be white in the end. As this is the white center, the whole side will be white. As this is the blue center, the whole side will be blue in the end, etc., etc. Now, we, uh, we, you can start with any side, but most people tend to start with the white side. So we're going to solve the white side first. Well, the side we'll be f solving first will be on the bottom of the cube, so on the downside. You can do it like this, so you can still st see it. So that's what we're going to do. Now, the first step in solving the white side will be solving this cross. And not only the cross needs to be white, the edges will also have to line up with the centers. For example, here, this edge already lines up with the center. So we're going to look for the first edge, which is here. So it's white-green, which means it will need to come here, because it's white and green. So what you do is, first of all, you put that edge above the place where it has to go. And then you just bring it down and then it's there. So now let's look for the next one. So here. So white and red, so we place it above the red so that it can go here. So we bring it down, but it's the wrong way around. So now your first algorithm comes in. And it goes F D I L D and then you've got the side right. So let's do it again. F D I L D. And then, so now let's do the next edge, which is if this one. So we put it where it has to go, bring it down, but it's the wrong way around. So we do the algorithm again. F. D I L D and then you've got the white cross. Now the next step in solving the white layer will be showing these four corners. Now again they have to line up with the centers, like this one here, which is already done. Because it's white, uh, green, and orange. Now we're gonna find the first center corner to do here. This one is white, green, and red, which means it has to go here, because it's white, green, and red. So we place it above where it has to go, and we just do the algorithm R-U-R-U-I. And now you see it broke down, but it's not flipped the correct way. So that's why we will have to do the same algorithm several times. R-U-R-U-I. R-U-R-U-I. R U R I U I R U R I U I and now it's in the correct place. Flip the correct way. Now 
It will always depend how many times you have to do, do it. So here we've got the next corner, which is white, blue, red, and here it's white, blue, red. So we place it here. You are you are a UI and then so now there's still one co more corner that is here R U R I U I and then now you're ready to do the next layer.